Rocks and Art, the channel that brings you amazing rocks and cool art at the same time. Hi guys, it's Rocks and Art here, coming at you with another YouTube video. And this video is all about my collection of rocks from my most recent Colorado trip. Now as you can see, there's a lot of different types of rocks here, including Feldspar, Green Fluorite, Malachite, Quartz Crystals, Marble, Jasper, and Azurite with Barite. Alright, well, let's get into it. So, of course, I've already shown you this, but uh, let's show it a little bit more. This is my best specimen of Malachite in my collection, and as you can see, it's very interesting. A very large plate of, uh, appears to be some sort of shale or something, with a bunch of malachite all over it. Very cool, very nice deep green color. I mean, look at that malachite there. Super cool. In fact, a long time ago when people didn't have access to as higher quality pigments, some painters even used malachite, and that's why some paintings you can see that are painted with malachite green. So that's cool. Alright, let's get on to the next one. So this one I showed as well, but this is very interesting. So you can see, this is the highest quality specimen of fluoride I had gotten there. And you can see it's starting to make little cubes in here. And there's actually a little thin crust of calcite on top of it. That's the white sparkly stuff. And that's really cool. I think this is a very interesting specimen. And as you can see, it's very pretty. And the color is a nice deep green. Very cool. Okay. Well. Oh, here we go. This is a very interesting specimen of crazy lace agate, and uh, as you can see by the price tag, unfortunately I did not find this one, and I did buy it at a rock shop in Uray, Colorado, which is a very beautiful mountain town, and also the town where we went to to collect the malachite and azurite and the quartz crystals. So here's another specimen of uh, quartz crystals here. You can see it's got a lot of interesting little things in there. Little veins and bugs in there and pretty cool. Alright. And uh, one of the locations I went to was a silver mine with uh, some pyrite in it, some pyrite formations, and I believe this rock has some pyrite and possibly some silver due to this gray color. Um, very, very cool. All right. Now, I didn't even talk about this one, but this is a very interesting stone. As it, you can see, there's a fossilized clam in there. Or at least that I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It could be actually just the imprint of a clam. Because as you can see on the side here, there really isn't much going into the rock. So, that's what I think it is. But it's still very cool. And in fact, I found this at a coal mining area where I was riding horses in the mountains, which was really fun. 
So here's this nice piece of fossilized shell. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> now this is one of the more interesting specimens of fluorite and quartz that I found on my trip. In fact, I didn't even find this. It was actually my dad who found it, which was really fun. So, good find, Dad. Here's this side again. See, it's a very nice deep green color. It almost looks like some peridot in there if you look at it in a certain way. It's pretty cool. So, and then on the top, it's got some what I believe to be just brown stained quartz. I don't think it's actually citrine, but still very interesting. All right, well, as you could see earlier, I have this piece of marble that I found at a marble mining site that was uh, used in the early 1900s. You can see all the saw marks on there. Very interesting. It's pretty cool. Shiny little pieces on there. All right, and uh, this is a big old thing. Here's my biggest piece of like surface stuff, malachite and azurite. You can see the blue is azurite and the green is malachite. Very cool. Very pretty. All right, let's see. Um, here's another really interesting specimen of quartz crystals. As you can see, these are very beautiful and high quality things. Uh, actually, which is really crazy, the site where I found this was an old copper mine. And in the mine dump where I was at, there was actually a shot-out old Ford pickup truck, which was really cool. And uh, I thought that was fun. And as you can see, <laughs> here's this little truck thing that I have in this stuff. I didn't find that there, but it was I just put it in here. And it kind of actually looks similar to the truck at that site. But... The interesting thing about the truck at the site was that there was a bunch of bullet holes in it, and it was actually kind of cool. So here's a nice little piece of quartz here. Very cool. Yeah, so within this truck here are all my smaller pieces of fluoride, but you can see most of them are pretty nice and deep green color here. Camera's having a bit of trouble focusing on this. So, yeah, here we go. That's a good one. And here's another little piece of quartz. Very cool. And, uh, here's what I believe to be some sort of fossil. Probably. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's some of that stuff in there. You can see that there's just a lot of little pieces of fluoride in here. Okay, yeah, little pieces of stuff. Some barite again. Here's, this is a very interesting piece of barite and quartz. It's pretty cool. Little blades in there. Really cool specimen there. Alright, and here is a piece of fluoride again. As you can see, it's very nice and deep green. That color. All right, here's another piece of uh, quartz crystal, and it's got some veins in it and stuff, and openings where there's some crystal growth. Very, very cool specimen, this one. One of my favorites. Uh, here's what appears to be a piece of broken glass. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's dangerous out in the rock-hounding spots. Here's another big piece of fluorite with some calcite in it. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. 
here is another piece of fluoride and calcite and stuff, but as you can see on the top of it, it appears to have some uh, copper ore. The freaking camera will focus here. Let me. The heck. Here's the camera. I don't know why it's not focusing, but. All right. Well, here's this though. So it's, as you can see, there's some copper ore on top of here with some green stuff. That's why you can tell it's copper ore. So that's the copper mine. It's pretty cool. I got a lot of pieces of those. And here's another piece of uh, barite with little barite blades in there. And then some little malachite. You can see the green part there, which is really cool. I really like this one. You can see it there. Uh, oh, look at this. This is a very interesting specimen of quartz crystals. Nice big old things on top of there. Very cool. Let's see what I can find. Here we go. So this is a pretty cool piece of um, amethyst that I found there. Once again, if the camera will focus, <laughs> I don't know why it's not focusing here. Well, I guess I just have to hold it there then. So there's those nice big pieces of amethyst crystals. Very cool. Very interesting rock here. I'll just hold it again so you can see it. Beautiful amethyst crystals on here. And uh, the crystals on here, they're pretty light colored, but there is a bit of red and purple in there. So they're mostly just quartz crystals, but... So yeah, that one's really cool. I really enjoy that. Um, here's a very crazy piece of fluorite. Look at this. All sorts of stuff going on here. Little holes and things. It's pretty cool. It's almost like the solution of fluorine and calcite was just bubbling all over the place when it was deposited. Here's a piece of uh, fishtail selenite. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. There's some of that in here, so that's cool. Um, let's see. Here's another piece of calcite. Some calcite stuff on here. Cool. Let's see. What's this? This appears to be some more barite. Pretty cool specimen there. Uh, uh, let's see. Where did that go? Here is another little quartz plate. That's cool. Very cool. As you can see, I got a lot of azurite and quartz things. Malachi on here. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. I enjoy this piece of azurite because it's got little spots on it. Kind of like leopard stuff. Leopard skin. Cool, and here's a nice big old chunk of mm, pure barite. It's pretty cool. Uh, here's just a piece of agate stuff. <laughs> cool. Here's a nice uh, big piece of jasper here. It's pretty cool. It's nice colors. Um, it's another piece of copper ore stuff with malachite and azurite on it. This one's also very interesting. 
All right. Oh, <laughs> how could I forget this? Look at this large piece of quartz crystals on top of here. Those could be calcite as well, but I don't exactly know. The interesting about this one is kind of like a flip thing. On the bottom, it's more of a fluorite, white colored fluorite, and then on the top, it's calcite. Pretty cool. Alright, that's the same thing. And look at this. A penny. Wow. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. And here's a piece of uh, local mineral from my local spots. This this uh, was actually in my video titled Weird and Cool Crystals from my local spots. Go check that out on my channel. Got more of those. This came from. Uh, here's a piece of jasper. Flint chert. Pretty cool. Some calcite. Some more barite again. It's pretty cool stuff. Looking for... Here it is. Look at this. Now this is one of my interesting specimens of this collection. It's this little quartz crystal rock, but it's like a... You can see they're like hexagonal, hexagonal crystals with like a different material on the outside than is on the inside. And it's really cool. I have no idea what this is, but if any of you guys know, you should tell me in the comment section. This is, uh, it's pretty cool. Here's another piece of fluorite. Pretty cool. This is just a piece of quartz with some muscovite mica on there. What I think is muscovite. Pretty sure it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's most of them. I mean, I don't want to bore you guys with just showing you the same type of rock over and over again. I mean, there's another piece of azurite. Pretty cool. Nice blue color. Uh, yeah. So most of these are just fluorite, azurite, calcite, malachite, all that stuff. But it's really cool. I had a lot of fun hunting for these rocks. And they're really great. So, if you ever have a fixin' for some cool rocks, head on down to Colorado, because that is a great place to go. Arizona as well. Uh, I've been to both of them. Pretty cool. So yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry for if the video was kind of slow today. It is pretty late so I'm a bit tired. But I just wanted to get another video out to you guys and see how you liked it. So yeah. So this was my collection of rocks from my Colorado trip number two. It's very, very interesting. Amazing rocks. Fluorites, zurites, malachites, all sorts of stuff. Really cool. So uh, make sure to drop a like in the description if you enjoyed the video. And maybe even subscribe to my channel. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.